Welcome back to the Sean McDermott Show, and it's now time for another edition of Chopping Wood with our good friend Eric Wood. It's been a tough season for the running backs, but they finally got it rolling against the Patriots in Week 8. How did the Bills get their running attack going? Well, the run game came on just when they needed it to. Tough conditions uh, because of the weather in Buffalo on Sunday, and they needed to get the run game going. So what did they do? They went back to a lot of what they did in 2018 and 2019 with the ground game, and that was going back under center. And that seemed to keep the running backs on great tracks throughout the game and really got the run game going. Well, let's start by looking at Zach Moss. He had his longest carry of the day in the first quarter. What happened on this play? Yeah, so this is an outside zone concept to the left side of the field, and all the blocks up front were excellent. And, uh, you know, the first thing that sticks out to me is Ryan Bates playing center on this drive. Mitch Morris was out with an injury. It's tough being a backup and coming right into the game. You're not warm. And I thought he had two really good blocks on the drive that he was in there. But Zach Moss has proven right now, coming off an injury, that he looks to be worth the investment that the Bills made for him drafting him in this year's draft. Yeah, they came back to that zone blocking on the next play for Moss's first rushing touchdown of the year. Yeah, pre-snap, the Bills will bring Gabe Davis back across the formation. Then on the snap, they bring him back the other way in a slice motion. This brings the defender that has him man away. It also makes it really tough for the Patriots defenders, especially the second level defenders, to fit this properly. And this is a walk-in touchdown in the red zone for Zach Moss. Those don't come too often in the NFL. This is a great play design by Brian Dayball. Well, Zach Moss wasn't the only one who got it rolling. How did the Bills get Devin Singletary involved as well? So on this play for the Bills, it's another outside zone to the left side of the formation. This is becoming a theme. But what the center and the guard do on the left-hand side is they block down with Ike Butker and they pull Feliciano around. What that can do is it pins the defense right there at the nose guard. If everybody just simply zones off the ball, then everyone can run laterally. So you'll use at times this pin and pull scheme versus a play side nose guard. And John Feliciano does a great job covering up the Patriots defender, actually a defensive back playing at linebacker level. Pretty easy block for Big John there. And on that same drive, they came back to Moss in the red zone with a different look, and this time it was in a pistol formation. So again, the Bills attack the Patriots defense with wide zone. And when the Patriots play with such big defenders on the field, especially across the line, oftentimes you'll go to this wide zone. You want to get them moving laterally and really take advantage of maybe just one of them misfitting the gap. And here you do it. And this is just great strength by the rookie running back and everybody pushing with him to get him in the end zone. This is just great will and a great cap off to a drive. They came back to the under center running game a little bit with Singletary later in the third quarter. Tell us about what you see here. This is an excellent check by Josh Allen at the line of scrimmage. On the TV copy, you could hear him saying alert, alert. He points to his helmet, so he's switching the play. He sees that there's going to be pressure off the right side of the defense, so he checks to a run play to the left. Without a fullback, they're going to be outnumbered on the weak side of the formation, the right side. Darrell Williams just gets enough of the backside blocker, which is a tough block for him, considering all the defense is going to be slanting away from the pressure coming off the Bills' right-hand side. This is a great cut by Singletary putting his foot in the ground and getting straight upfield. And that's what being under center can do. It keeps him on a great track. It allows for him to put his foot in the ground and really get upfield quicker than it would be out of the gun where you're moving more laterally across the formation. Well, the Bills came back to Zach Moss on another outside zone to set up Josh Allen's touchdown run. Watching this play live, I was a little confused at what Cole Beasley was doing. And this was right at the end of the quarter. And I think Josh Allen saw that the Patriots were exposed on the edge of the defense. They get in a condensed formation here, the Bills do, and it allows Tyler Croft to wrap around and get a block on the outside there. And I think Josh Allen simply just didn't send Cole Beasley across because he knew they had such a good look and he wanted to get it in before the quarter. And this was another great run by the rookie running back, outrunning the unblocked defender there in the hole and getting upfield. And, and I just thought the Bills running backs all day finished their runs extremely well. Yeah, let's take a look now at another Bills running back, Josh Allen, what happened on his touchdown run. I think everybody that had their eyes tuned into this game knew what was coming. When the Bills got an empty set here, they were going to try and run it with Josh Allen, and he's just so big and strong, and when 
Um, you give him the entire field to work with and the entire line of scrimmage. He can pick and choose any gap. If any uh, Patriots defensive lineman chose wrong there, he was going to exploit them, and he did. As soon as the three technique crossed the face of Brian Winters, Josh Allen just simply took it right off of him. Well, Zach Moss had a career day, and here's another big gain that he had on another zone read run. Yeah, this is just outside zone again, and this seems to be a theme for us, but when you have something going in the run game and you're doing it over and over, it gives the offensive line and the backs time to get in a rhythm. And here, the defensive tackle goes under Ike Butker. He does a great job of just staying on his track up to the linebacker, covers him up through the entire play, and that's just great blocking up front. Zach Moss is going quite a quite a distance before he even has to make a move or gets any contact. And that's it's a great job by the Bills offensive line the entire day. Also like the hustle by Brian Winters on the backside. Cuts the linebacker, gets just enough of Brinkley to spring Zach Moss so that he can get up the field so far untouched. It certainly was gratifying to see the Bills get their running game rolling against the Patriots. Eric, thanks for this. We're going to talk to you next week. Sounds good. Thanks, Steve.